Welcome back to uh, How to Grow as a Christian. And with us, as always, is Reverend Jimmy Ray in the name of Jesus Christ. How are you, Reverend? Oh, praise the Lord. It's great to be back again. Man, Daniel, I love to do these episodes with you because it's so wonderful to talk about Jesus Christ and see what he's been doing in your life, Daniel. Well, and it's so wonderful of you to tell the message of Jesus Christ to our audience. You know, I've been preaching the gospel of Christ since I was a teenage boy years ago. And I'll never stop until I get to glory land, and you're going to be there too. Well, that sounds wonderful. Yeah. And, well, I've been going to church, like you said, and one thing I learned about was hymns. Mm. Mm. So I was wondering if we could talk about that today. Oh, I'd love to talk about praising Jesus all the time. The Bible talks about singing songs of praise and hymns to the Lord. Now, I'm going to read it from the Bible. Is that okay? Of course, Reverend. I didn't bring my Bible, so I got to get updated with this technology stuff. So I put it on my little phone. I got this there thing called the iPhone. Mm -hmm. Psalm 100 in the Bible, the Old Testament, says, Make a joyful noise to the Lord. A joyful Lord noise. Serve the Lord with gladness. You notice it talks about joy and gladness all the time? Yeah. That's an advantage of being a Christian. Yeah, yeah. Everybody who's a Christian is happy all the time. All the time. Because Jesus is in our hearts. That's right. Now, back when you were an atheist, were you ever happy? Uh, well, I mean, I don't want to say I was never happy, but mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can't remember that happening just offhand. Okay, that's all right, that's all right. But let's see what the Bible says. It says right here, serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. We're going to learn how to do that today. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, in his courts with praise, bless his name. So we're going to have to go through today a couple songs. And I'd like to teach you a couple courses that we've done in my church for years. I know you're a new Christian, but we got to learn how to make a happy, joyful noise to Jesus. That sounds wonderful, Reverend. Now, I heard you sing a little bit ago, Daniel, and you got a pretty good old voice there. Where'd you learn how to sing like that? Well, uh, I've been singing in choir since I was uh, little. Okay, okay. I think the Lord would be very pleased with your voice. Now, he gave you that voice, so you got to give it back to him. He owns it. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. First song is a song I've sang in church since I was a little boy, and then when I started preaching as a teenager, it's called, This is the Day the Lord Hath Made. Now, what we do in our church, we clap our hands, and we sing. Now, I want you to follow me. It's a very simple tune. It's a scripture from the Old Testament. It's called, This is the Day the Lord's Made. He made this day for us. You understand that? Yeah, yeah. This day is ours. It's ours. He yeah. made it for us, but we have to worship Him because He owns us. Right. Now, here it goes. Start with me. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord hath made. We will rejoice. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. That's it. You oh, did great. That, that was wonderful, Reverend. Thank you. Good. So when you go to these churches now, I know you've been going to church. Now, make sure they make joyful noises to the Lord. Okay? Now, here's one I bet you've heard before. Now, you was an atheist, but had you ever heard anybody sing a song called, Jesus Loves Me, This I Know? I think I have heard that one. It's a beautiful song. Now, I want, I'm going to sing it. You're going to follow me. And it's a real powerful message out there to all them there people that don't believe in Jesus. It goes like this. Jesus loves me. This I know. Let's start over. Okay. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Okay, stop. Now, people always ask for evidence. How do we know the Bible's true? <laughs> you just sing this song. Jesus loves us. How do we know it? Well, God wrote the Bible. He, he spoke through his prophets. Absolutely. So we know that Jesus loves us. Why? Because the Bible tells, tells me so. Very good, Daniel. Well, thank you. 
Um, Can I do we, one more? Yes, please. You were talking about hymns. Hymns are songs, heartfelt songs. There's one called Amazing Grace. And those of you believers out there, I'm sure you've sung this one. Have you ever heard that song, Daniel? Uh, I, I think I have heard this one. Amazing Grace. Yeah, Amazing Grace. It talks about God's love for us as we're sinners. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. You and me, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Well, thank you, Reverend. Oh my gosh, and praise God. That gives me chill bumps up my spine. Amen, and praise Jesus, and thank you for joining us, and I hope you will continue to grow as Christians with us.